What happened to your pulpits where it's turned to a stage, the so-called praise dancers? Yeah. What happened to the church where a homosexual can run a revival? Amen. And nobody say nothing. What good is having the Bible, the scriptures, the book of truth in church if you don't believe it? That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Why is it that the sinner don't want nothing to do with church? Why are mothers and fathers having a hard time getting their children interested in church? Because many of the sinners can see what church has become better than some of the folk that's still sitting around in church. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So it shocks people when they turn the television on or internet on and they hear us not getting paid, telling them what they must do. That's right. Unafraid. We're not afraid of the government of America. FBI been infiltrated the truth of God and sent word and said they had. And I told the FBI, if you don't obey this, your FBI going to be in hell just like the CIA. <laughs> That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling? That's right. How did money take the place of God in church? Yeah. When you come to church now, it's not about God. The fear of God is not in church. It's gone. Oh, yes. I came up old school, come from a family of eight. We respected our father and mother. Fear, reverence, honor. If you take fear out of a house from your children, the house gonna get ready to burn to the ground. If you take the fear of God out of church, the church will be an amusement park. That's right. The respect of God will not be found. The preachers will preach anything and don't fear the consequences. Let us understand something. The most dangerous part of church is not out there. It's up here. This is the most dangerous location of church. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? Everything that come out of that man's mouth. Yeah. He got to stand before God for everything he preached. Are you listening? That's right. If what he preached calls just one soul, one, to be lost, give me the book of Ezekiel. Let's go to work, Williams. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3. John, give me some more juice, John. Give me some more juice. Crank it up real good. Oh, yes. Amen. Crank it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, glory to God. Crank me up good. Amen. I want to hurt the ears if there's anything that's wicked. That's right. <laughs> now, I'm not here, Lafayette, to be your friend. You're already friends with the devil. You don't need me to be your friend. <laughs> but I am here to tell you to get out of your church. That's right. And if there's any preachers in the congregation don't like me telling it, I'm telling you, get out the pulpit, leave the organization you're in, and leave the false church. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. You're a bishop, you're an elder, you're a pastor, you're an evangelist. If you're not preaching exactly what's written, exactly. how much blood is on your hands, preacher? Hmm. How many lies have you preached? And some of the ones that endorse or believe your lies are dead now. Amen. I want to show you this in the scriptures. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 3. And we'll start at verse 17. Follow me in your Bible. Follow me in your Bible. Follow me in your Bible. Hear, hear this. I want this to be good for all young men who got the preacher's itch. That's right. Always quick to go run up in the pulpit and get a trial sermon or go to some fake church where they give you a ministerial lesson. <laughs> That's right. The most dangerous position of the church is right up in the pulpit. Oh, yes. 
I want you to hear the old troublemaker now. I want to roast you while I have you here. Amen. So you don't go back to your church tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm saying, but I got to play the organ. No, you don't. Oh, no. I got to sing on the choir. No, you don't. No. I got to preach tomorrow, Pastor Jennings. Oh, certainly. No, you don't. That's right. <laughs> Get me now. This is a heaven or hell situation. That's right. If the Lord come now, tonight, right now, are you ready to go back with him? Mm. Have you been taught the right information that you will make the first resurrection if he come now? Now. Is your belief wrapped around with scripture so solid, so tight, so right, that if God questioned your belief, mm. It'll stand all scriptural evaluation. My Lord. Are you following something based upon your personal views, yeah. your feelings, your ideology, philosophy, philosophy. theology? Yeah. And your theology and your philosophy, you found out, never was in scripture. That's right. Do you have a religion that the apostles didn't have? Yeah. Are you in a church professing to be something that God is not that? That's right. Think on these questions. Yeah. If you are professing to be any religion, before you brag about it, before you try to suck your children into it, yeah. find out that God tell you to be it. Amen. Have you ever thought of that? That's right. That goes for you too, Bishop, Elder, Pastor, Preacher, so-called Reverend. Undercover apostle, jack leg prophet. That's right. Hell deserving half pint deacon. <laughs> Whatever religion you profess tonight, is God that? Hmm. Well, Pastor Jenner, my religion is Christianity. God told you that? Christian is in the Bible. Christian is a person. Christianity is a religion. Right. The Bible said it was first called Christians at Antioch. Antioch. But there's not a religion in the Bible ever was, ever will be called Christianity. That's a shocker to people. That's right. Well, I thought that's right. <laughs> you thought. thought. You hear me tell you over the air. Come back to Bible. That's right. I'm a Bible preacher. I don't give two cents about theory, hearsay, none of that. Amen. If you don't believe the Bible, stop going to church. Amen. Christianity have never been in the Bible. No. The Bible never said Jesus started Christianity. That's what the preachers have said. It. There's not a scripture in the Bible where Jesus started a religion called Christianity. That's right. I know this is a shocker to people. Yeah. <laughs> They've been bragging. I have my religion is Christianity. You out there alone by yourself. By yourself. Come on back to Bible. That's right. You a Methodist, Catholic, hmm. apostolic. Oh, we, the apostles was apostolic. They ain't a Bible ain't said that. They were holy apostles. Holy apostles. And holy prophets. That's right. They was the apostolic apostles. <laughs> Come on back to Bible. That's right. <laughs> All of these religions, like a smorgasbord. I went to Piccadilly today. And I can choose what I want. And that's what the people do with religion. Yeah. They got their tray, Baptist, Catholic, Mormon, Muslim. Or they get what Steve Harvey got, Chris Lamb. <laughs> You know that come out of hell. Amen. Chris Lamb, Christianity and Islam compounded. Chris Lamb. Oh. Well, the devil's in religious business, isn't he? Amen. All right, follow me in your Bible, Lafayette. I want to take my time and grill you real good. Amen. Turn you over tomorrow so we can get the other side of you well done. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I want this to be good in case any of you here got your undercover Christmas tree, you Lafayette heathen. <laughs> Amen. That's what you are. Amen. Amen. That's what you are. <laughs>
Glory to God. I, all of you that are here, if any of you here got your Christmas tree, you are Lafayette, Louisiana heathen. Amen. Your mama and your daddy. That's right. And your husband and your wife and your pastor. Amen. Bible never said Jesus was born December 25th, you're heathen. That's right. I say you are heathen. That's the Bible amen. never said it. Amen. 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 Some of you got your trees at home. I know. You look at I, I don't even know you. The Bible says your eyes are the light of your body. You look guilty. <laughs> amen. Amen. He look guilty. You can see the guilt all on him. <laughs> Got your tree in your house, your little dirty manger on the church you attend. When you got a manger on your church, that's proof you're being led by a false prophet and a liar. That's right. Amen. If your pastor allowed, he's a false prophet a false and a liar. Amen. Hear the old troublemaker now. Listen at this. Come on, Williams. In Ezekiel chapter 3 and at verse 17. All right. Son of man. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman. God talking to the prophet. That's right. I have made their watchmen unto the house of Israel. Unto Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. That's what you're supposed to hear when you come to God's house. Hear the word at my mouth. And this is what is not being preached now in God's house. That's God's right. word. That's right. That's why the preacher got his sermon right on the iPad or laptop. Yeah. Or got his sermon written out. And people can't find none of it in the Bible. He set up all week. <laughs> Writing out his sermon, then he give it a heading. What you gonna do when you see the green light shine? <laughs> All type of stupid headings. <laughs> That's right. This time of year, every message is centered around Christmas. Yeah. Reeves all on the building and choir all dressed up in red and green robes, looking like leprechauns. <laughs> And then the people and then all around just saying and deck the halls with fool folly. That's right. R Rudolph, the idiot reindeer. <laughs> Amen. All type of lies. Oh, yeah. So-called Christians taking their little children to visit the mall and look at Santa food. <laughs> and then he sit on the lap. Children just sitting on his lap like an old pervert. That's right. You see, when you holy, you're not like the world. You're supposed to be different. No. <laughs> Jesus taught, Jesus taught his apostles, except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter in. Yeah. Listen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. What is it? Therefore hear the word at my mouth. Yeah. And give them warning from me. Do what? Give them warning from me. That's why I'm here in Lafayette, to give you warning from God. That's it. Yeah. I don't care who your pastor right. is, what kind of Bible college you went to, what kind of Bible college he's in. I've never been to Bible college since I've been born and don't plan on going. Amen. Well, we preach contradict what the college. College can't make preachers. No. College makes students. That's right. Takes God to make a preacher. That's right. Son of man, do what? I have made the watchman unto the Look house of Israel. Look out for the people. Go ahead. You know, when God make a watchman, watchman. God makes you look out for the people. That's right. And that's what got me traveling extensively from one end of the world oh, yes. to the other. Amen. We are looking out. For God, people, until they coming to walk with the truth. They came in out of Israel, whole congregation, Wonderful. preacher and all. Wonderful. Came in out of Israel, came out of Macedonia, came in out of Malaysia, coming and just pouring in. Amen. Amen. Why? Everybody don't want to go to hell. That's right. I don't care how tough you are, mister. You ain't so tough. You'll be able to fight off the flames of hell. That's right. Amen. Get this. I have made your watchmen unto the house of Israel. What is it? Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and, and give them warning from me. Give them warning from God. I want to warn you, Lafayette. That's right. Jesus is coming. That's right. You can ignore the warning all you want. Be my guest. Amen. Go to church, play around, and act like the devil. Get your fake salvation. Live together, Amen. not marry, remarry, and divorce as much as you please because your bishop's saying nothing wrong with it. That's because right. he got his second wife and working on his third. That's right. That's right. Live together, not marry, continue to smoke and drink and gamble and party. Drink your vodka and your eggnog. Drink your vodka and your orange juice. Roll your dice, play your cards, shoot your pool. Give them warning from me. Oh, take God. I'm here to warn you. That's right. That's give it. them warning from who? Give them warning from me. No, give them warning from the White House. Give them warning from me. My warning come to you from God. That's right. That's right. And we warn Washington. That's right. Biden, Harris, yes. and everything that's in authority or in power. Right. God warning right. you now. That's right. You're going to be stubborn as Hallelujah. you like. Hallelujah. 
But my job is to give you warning from God. What you do if their warning is up to you. That's right. Amen. Get this. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. God talking. When I tell the wicked, you're going to die. And thou givest him not warning. And if I don't say nothing. Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. What I have. To save his life. If I don't tell you what's right. To save your life The same wicked man that shall same die in his iniquity wicked person that I refuse to warn Is going to die in his sins But here's the catch But his blood But his blood Will I require at thine hand Will be on me That's right Hallelujah Hallelujah If I don't warn the wicked That's right To change That's right And that wicked man, the wicked woman Die his blood will I require with Your thine death. hand. God will blame. That's right. On me. That's right. Mm. You know you have to be of God to be consistent in warning the people. That's right. Now to do this, you can't look at nobody feeling. No. Oh. That lets you know the preachers today, they ain't sent of God. They looking at how you feel. Have you ever been to a church? And the preachers preach or yell and grunt. And before he sit down, he say, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Yeah. I'm sorry yeah. if I offended you. Please forgive me. That's the devil. That's preacher. the devil. That's right. I don't care if you get so mad you pull out a 38 or 45 and a machete. That's right. What do I care? <laughs> That's right. You got to do what God say do or, or you and your machete going to be dropped in the lake of fire. Yes. See, when, you, when you're not getting paid, you're not tied to dollars so you can preach it freely. Freely. That's right. That's right. That's Ain't right. no board of directors put me up here. No. Ain't no board of directors can take me out of here. Amen. Are Amen. you kidding me? When I say unto the wicked, thou when shalt I surely say die. To the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And I want everything that's a sinner to hear this. Because God say, you're going to surely die. And you are. Oh, yes. You out here partying, smoking, and all of that stuff, and acting like a fool. And sometimes you drop in some church on Sunday, to, you know, because you, you feel somewhat religious that day. <laughs> that's right. Still got the residue of your uh, of your weed all in you, amen. And got a hangover, so you drop in some old church, yeah. listen at the choir where the women is half naked and they fake eyelashes that's hanging off their eyes. Yeah. Somebody else's hair from Walgreens is all switched around. That's right. Am I right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Looking at a bunch of men who lips shining more than the armor all on the tire. Yeah. Men all on a choir with a man bun. Amen. Man got his wife Bobby pins in his head to hold his hair in place. That's right. Men moving their hair more than women. Amen. <laughs> Even the preachers are doing it. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. If you sit in garbage long enough, yeah. That garbage, you won't even smell the stench. No. You become comfortable and so used to the smell until the garbage don't even offend you no longer. That's right. That's right. And this is what have happened with religion. Yeah. We have set in these rotten playgrounds that's called churches. The fear of God have gone. The respect for scripture is gone. Yeah. Church have become a playground. Anything is allowed. Everything is permitted. And then if people think they're going to heaven anyhow. That's right. That's right. When Israel, God was on the mountain yeah. talking to Moses. Talking to Glory Moses. to God. Laying out the commandments for Israel to follow. In the midst of Moses' absence, what of God says, how Israel rose up to play. Rose up to play. And when the people saw. Hear, hear this now. Then we'll go back to Ezekiel. The book of Exodus, chapter 32, and verse 1. Follow me. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out when of the, the mouth. When the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mouth. And that's the way the people are now about the coming of Christ. That's right. That's he ain't right. back yet. That's right. And because he have not arrived yet, the whole world rose up to play. That's right. Churches are playing. 
preachers are playing, religion is playing, so-called Christian community playing, having a big time, partying, dancing, all Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. The things that mothers used to correct the daughters about. Yeah. Now the mothers and the grandmothers are doing. That's right. It's no more shame having babies and you're not married. Amen. Now young girls feel embarrassed to say, I'm a virgin. That's right. You embarrassed? Embarrassed. Who would ever thought that young girls would be embarrassed to say, I'm a virgin? That's no shame. No. Even the church is styled as a chaste virgin, virgin. and the devil's church is styled as a whore. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The church from the Lord Jesus Christ is designed yeah. to clean up yeah. men oh, yes. and women. Yeah. First thing they got to get cleaned up is your mind. That's right. Got to change the way you think. Yeah. Clean your heart. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Change the way you feel. That's right. And then you start changing your characteristics, what you do with your body. That's right. When the mind change, heart change, body will change, everything will fall in place with God's law. Amen. 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 All right, listen. And when the people saw that oh, Moses. Pastor Jenny, you preach like a person can't make a mistake. No. Oh, no. That's not what I'm preaching. No. You think like that because you're trying to justify yourself in your sins. That's right. <laughs> mistake or no mistake, my job is to tell you what's Morning. right. That's right. That way when you raise your child, son or daughter, you teach him or her not to make the same mistakes that you made. That's right. My job as a preacher is to help you raise your children. That's right. When you instill in them the righteousness of God, my job is to instill in them from up here That's right. the righteousness of God, which help reinforce what you put in them. That's right. 